Chrysler's bankruptcy is causing more than 700 dealerships to close, so one Virginia dealer is slashing prices on more than 100 cars on his lot. Joining us now at Pahanka Chrysler Dodge is CBS correspondent Kimberly Dozier along with dealer operator Ray Obrim. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Harry. Good morning. Well, Ray is going to walk us through some of these deals, but first I wanted to ask you, when did you find out that your dealership was going to be closed and are you going to have to fire anyone? Uh, we found out a week ago, uh, last Thursday, and uh, no, we plan on staying in business and we're not going to be laying off anybody. You're going to stay in business as a pre-owned place, I understand? A pre-owned superstore, and we're also going to expand our service operation. But in the meantime, you've got to move this stock, so our, walk us through it. Well, our back's against the wall, obviously. We've got until June 9th to move uh, over 100 cars. And uh, to give you an idea of some of the savings, uh, this car lists for $19,575. Uh, it's sale priced at $14,987. That's about 20% off. 20% off, yeah. Okay. Another but, deal up here. We have yeah, this is a Dodge Nitro. Uh, one of the vehicles, it's, uh, it's list for $29,170, uh, marked down to $17,510. And if you do the math on that one, it's about 40% off. Now, how are you able to offer so much off? Well, it's a combination. Uh, you know, we've got some factory cash, uh, consumer rebates, and also huge discounts. Once again, we are in the midst of an inventory liquidation. So in two and a half weeks, when the Chrysler dealership goes away, you can't offer these deals, right? Yeah, this is a once-in-a-lifetime uh, opportunity for customers uh, because it, the, the consumer cash goes away. Got a couple other cars here. What is this one? This is a, a Dodge Caliber. Um, you know, and once again, if you look at the savings, this car lists for twenty-five seven one five, and it's now sale priced at uh, nineteen thousand thirty-four dollars. Since the word went out, uh, how many cars have you moved? Uh, we've sold twenty cars already, um, and you know the word is out uh, that you know June 9th is the deadline, and uh, yeah, we're gonna we got to make the make the metal move. And you think you're going to make it? Uh, we'll make it. So, uh, Harry, we've got a car here for you. Uh, I think this PT Cruiser has your name on it. Yeah, right. And can I, I have a couple of questions for Ray real quick. Now, if you don't sell these cars, does Chrysler take them back? Do they buy them back from you? No, uh, you know, Chrysler's told the dealers that uh, they're not going to be able to buy the cars back. So uh, that's, you know, all the reasons that we have to make, uh, make this metal move. Mm -hmm. and, and basically, are, have you slashed your cost below what it cost you to buy them from, from Chrysler in the first place? Yeah, we're selling well below cost to, to, you know, to make these kind of deals. Yeah, and will, they back, and will Chrysler back up the cars? Are they still, they'll still be under warranty and everything else? Well, as you know, the administration is, is going to back, the U.S. government is going to back the warranty, so people that do you know, purchase these cars are not going to have to worry about warranty uh, protection. All right. All right. Kim, thank you very much. Ray, do appreciate it, sir. Good luck out there. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Chrysler's losses could wind up being your gains, and you have two weeks to cash in. Now that Chrysler has gone into bankruptcy and plans to shut down more than 700 dealerships, the terms state affected dealers must get rid of all of the cars on their lots by June 9th. This is the Bohanka dealership in Leesburg. Says it's marked down some cars as much as 40%. So we're well below where we would normally sell the cars in the marketplace. Uh, our back's against the wall. On June 9th, we lose the franchise. Uh, with that, we also lose, lose all the consumer uh, rebates and incentives. And so we won't be able to be competitive after uh, June 9th. Bohanka says it's already sold about 50 cars in the few days since it learned Chrysler was terminating its franchise agreement. Has about 70 left. The dealership says it's now in the process of reapplying for a new franchise agreement because Chrysler is planning to open a small number of mega stores after it reorganizes. Memorial Day weekend traditionally is a time when auto dealers offer discounts in an effort to cash in on the unofficial start of summer. But with recent news that hundreds of GM and Chrysler dealerships across this country will be shutting their doors over the coming months, those discounts are getting much deeper. Chris Gordon is our report. It's a sign of the times, total inventory liquidation. It's happening here at Leesburg Chrysler Dodge, owned by the Pohanka Automotive Group. They say they're attracting buyers by slashing prices, more than $10,000 on this car. 
So twenty nine thousand down to seventeen five. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Would you be tempted to buy that car? Yeah, I, I would consider that. This is not just the story of one dealership, but all those who have gotten letters from Chrysler Dodge terminating their franchise. They have until June 9th to sell their entire new car inventories. For Leesburg Chrysler Dodge, that means moving 100 cars in less than three weeks. Well, I've got savings up there, uh, up to 40% off. Um, and uh, once again, you know, we have to move the metal. Uh, our back's against the wall based on the on the circumstances of this, uh, uh, this you know, franchise termination. For some, that means taking a test drive in a muscle car. For others, it's an opportunity to get rid of a gas guzzler, downsize, and save money at the same time. I'm uh, looking for a very good price. It's a buyer's market? We'll see. You got the power? I think so. I think so. I got the checkbook. <laughs> I got the cash. Yeah. This woman came in for service, but did some window shopping while at the dealership. What will determine if you're a buyer? The price or yeah, something else? The price, yeah. yeah. If it's too good an offer to pass up. Leesburg Chrysler Dodge has been serving its community since 1968, and it says it's committed to the future. We've got big plans. The, the good news is that we're not going to have to lay off a person. Okay, we're, we're an active business. That may mean transforming into a pre-owned super center and expanding their service and parts departments. But first, they got a lot of cars to sell, and they hope to see a lot of traffic over the Memorial Day weekend. Chris Gordon, News 4 in Leesburg, Virginia. The warranties on those new Chryslers and Dodges will be honored at any authorized dealership.